This is what my people should do and rise up and stop killing each other. Tell me if I'm lying. Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. I have a wonderful show for you. My subject is about herbs, roots, and spells. As I said in my program, I do voodoo spells. I can cast spells and I can remove spells from the physical body. It does not take a genius to remove spell from the physical body because it's caused by men. Men that have the understanding of using herbs, roots, animals, such as toad, frag, lizard, scorpion, the serpent, and also other four-footed animals. Also, the dead man body can be used to do all type of spells. They come in all forms and in all type of ways. You does not learn this in school. This is not a thing you learn in school. This handed down from generation to generation, mostly from the black. The white have their own religion as psychic phenomena and such on. UFO. Those are not in the rims of the black race. Ladies and gentlemen, what I'm saying to you is not found in book. If you only know things from book, you do not know anything whatsoever. The hurt have no record of itself. It's like when a man born, he doesn't know when he was born. He have to be told when he grows up to maturity. From toddler, it keep pumping into his ears. He was born in January 15. He doesn't know when he was born. <laughs> if you don't believe me, tell me when you was born. How did you know? My father told me and my mother told me. But did you know of yourself when you was born? How are you so smart and know the hurt? And he doesn't know when you was born. That's what I'm trying to say. Things that is not written in book is very hard to understand. Unless you are spiritually wise, then you can come with the ability to foresee things. Not material things. Seeing material things is just in vain. Those are man-made. When you can communicate with the spirit, then you can understand. If you cannot communicate with the spirit, you have no power. Or the book will tell you the herd was created. And they're bringing up all type of theory. The new bomb. A bang or what they call it. There's no such a thing. The herd was not created. The herd was not made. And it was not formed. The herd been here from time and time. And it will be here after time. The herd can put itself to sleep and it can wake itself up when it chooses to. It becomes silence. No utter of the wind or the birds or the fish. Nothing. Everything is silence. So the herd have its own power within itself. And this herd is not going to pass away as your book tell you. It's impossible. Where would it go? It has no place to go. 
When it chooses, it can go close up to the sun or it can come far away from the sun if it want. Men cannot do that. In the center of the earth, you have fire been burning before man was born or created, as you call it. And the fire never out. Don't matter how much water you put in there, you cannot out it. And it's been burning for time and time. All these things are man made up. Until you will go to heaven and you will go to hell. Heaven is in the mind of the believer and hell is in the mind of the believer. If you have a man called your father and he has sons and daughters and your toddler, I'm sure he would feed them and feed them abundantly. Do you know how many people are starving in this world? Because men take the land for themselves and call themselves government and people don't have a patch to plant grains. Without food, you will perish. <laughs> Did you understand me? Without food, you will perish. So what we need to do is start plant grains and plant it abundantly and fertile the land. Get rid of all the chemical as men would perish, especially the black men. Because you see, the white man already have his plan. His plan is to destroy you. <laughs> Did you understand me? His plan is to destroy you. And every day they make a new plan. So keep on thinking that they have nothing in mind. They are working secretly how to destroy the black men from the face of this earth. And if you don't believe it, there's nothing I can do. I am just here to tell you what's going on and what's going to happen if you don't be careful. Because all the food belongs to the white men at this dispensation of time, right now. And if they cease to give the food up, you are going to perish. Just like some of the countries in Africa, people are dying for hunger and we have so much land there. All the rich black men and women in the United States we don't need to be hungry. All you have to do is buy all this machine and fertilizer, go there, speak to the government, take the land and farm the land. Water the land and plant grains. But you see, the white man is clever. You don't think all the rich black people that live in the United States could do that? <laughs> of course they can do that. You have over 200 million, million, million people in some of the countries and they're dying for hunger. In the United States, you have about 100 million years black. They could go there and fertile the land and plant grains. But they said, no, they are selfish. We can feed our own people. You don't need a white man to feed our people. When we have a crisis in Africa, the first people around there is a white man. What's happened to the black people? Why you are not going in Africa and help your own people? You can buy a jet plane. Three fours of you can get together. I'm a poor man in wealth, but not in spirit. Material things I'm poor. But spiritually, I'm wealthy. But I'm here to tell you that you need to start feeding your people, all the rich black people in the United States. 
You can bundle your wealth together and go there and take the land from the white men that live in over there. You have some white men that live from the United States, from Canada, and they have 500,000 acre land. Reserve for wildlife. <laughs> and you're chasing all the black people and shooting them down when they kill some wild animal for food. They kill the black people and the black people is killing them own people. It's okay if you kill your own people for a just cause. Not for the white man cause. You could imagine a white man go in Africa and have 500 acre land, 500,000 acre land for himself for a wildlife reservation. And telling the black men they can live such and such a place. It's the same thing they tell you here when you came here, us black people. You was not allowed to eat the refined food, like the nice steak. You have to go dig up the pig guts and the feet and the head, what the master berry and the tribe from the cow on the skin and the foot. And you was lucky if you get some of the bone. But the guy was the guys who were doing the cooking, they eat pretty good. Because they was snitch. They tell everything unto the master. So most of, the, of them get a whipping. You know what is a whipping? Master will strap them up and whip them. Because they do something wrong. They get in the sugar bowl. <laughs> they get in the sugar bowl so they get a whipping. You are not going to find what I'm telling you in any books. How I know this? I'm spiritually wise. And I speak with the spirit. And if you know to speak with the spirit, you get all the hands that you want. And please don't speak ignorant. How comes he's not rich? What do you mean how comes I'm not rich? I'm rich with the spirit. Once you have a once you have food abundantly, no problem. As the Jamaican would say, no problem, man. Why I know my history? Because the first black migrate to the Caribbean, and you see, Jamaica was the paradise for the white people. That was their tourist resort. So everybody would go there and make merry go round, happy, and the black would play music and sing and dance for them. So the black didn't have it so hard, they were like the black in the United States. Because the black that leave from Jamaica came to the United States, from all over the Caribbean. That's why if you go to Jamaica, you can see most of the people have light complexion. Because they mix with the white men so much, it's like they kind of bleach out the black. But what is a black man's identity anyway? And who is a white man? A white man has blue eyes and very light complexion with hair on his head. Did you hear me? <laughs> I said, a white man have blue eyes, white skins, or yellow skin, and hair on his head, brown hair. A black man is dark complexion with wool on his hair, Wool on his head. Black man doesn't have hair on his head. He have wool. And he have black skin. Now you've been mixed up in this western world. So you hair, head, hair. That you call. This is a wool. 
and that's your identity. A Indian is high cheek, he could be black complexion, and he have black hair and black eyes. Chinese have black eyes, black hair, and light complexion with his eyes slant. So we only have four men upon the earth. Black men, Chinese men, white men, and the Indian men. And those three men came from one man. You know what? <laughs> I wrote a book. It's called Mother Left Baby with Voodoo Priest. See this book? I wrote this book. And it's filled with magical spell. And I hope you go to my website www.voodooSpell.com Go there. Write me a letter. And see if you can get some understanding. I am not forcing you to believe anything. Because God is in the mind of the believer as you call him God. And Jesus is in the mind of the believer as you call him Jesus. That's not my part way. My part way is to live on this earth. Multiply and replenish. If you think you're here to dig gold from the earth, it's fine. Or silver. I do magical spells. I take the demons away from your body. Believe it or not. If you don't believe it, I don't care. I'm not here to force you to believe nothing. All I'm here to do is to see that my people live into a clean way and remove filthiness from their body. Because the filthiness is the white man's ways. Some people are afraid to talk like that. Because they're in circles, see? I'm not in any circles. They reach a height and they stop talk. They're not teaching the children anything. Their pocket filled with money, gold and silver, big homes, and they eat expensive steak and expensive wine and go with prostitutes and all of that. Fly from places to places in jet planes. That's not my intention. I travel the whole world for 16 years. I go all over the continent of Africa, Europe, Asia, the Caribbean, the Bahamas. <laughs> I worked with some very bad people in 1965. I did not have the knowledge that they were bad people, as you call them in the United States. And that's how I get the opportunity to travel over the world. Money-wise, I could not do that. And I go and I see all these people live. Especially my country, Africa. Israel, Jerusalem. Baghdad. Morocco. I go all over. Most of them migrate down into Spain, Barcelona, Madrid. They're African. Because we are the only race scattered over the land and cannot unite together. Let me speak about some spells. Because you see, the book you call the Bible, it tells you so much that you don't even know what's in the Bible. As you call it. As I said before, it's a library. In Holland days, there was no library. So, the, so they put everything into this book. The book consists of 366 books. And you only have 66 in it now. Where is the rest of the books? Where is the book of the dead? Where is the book of the beast? 
Where is the book of the herbs? Where is the book of the fish? Oh, as you talk about fish, let's go into your book, as you call the Holy Bible. Tobias, the book of Tobias. Let's look in the book of Tobias. Chapter 7, verse 11 to verse 15. I'm going to talk about magical spells. From your Bible, young Tobias, he was on his way to meet a woman that killed many husbands. And by walking beside the head of the river, a big fish came up and he hold the fish by the gill as the spirit told him to do. And he take the fish out of the water. <laughs> and the spirit tell him to take out the gall, the liver. And carry it with him on the way. And he must use the flesh for food. And his father was blind. Now, when young Tobias reached that lady house, the spirit already told him, hey, you cannot sleep with the woman, man. Don't sleep with her because she killed so many husbands and you will be the seventh one he's going to kill. Just stay away and take the liver. Listen, take the liver and put it on the charcoal. Burn a little every night. And that will drive away the demons from the woman. And he burned the liver on the charcoal. Light the charcoal and burn it on the, for seven nights. And the demons leave the woman. And he go to bed with the woman. And every, every man, oh man, that lady's going to kill you, man. She kill all her husband. You can't do that. And when he went back home and tell his father what's happened, they all rejoiced. They were so glad. Did you hear me? Tobias. It's a book called Tobias it in your Bible. Look if you find it in King James. Because there is many Bibles out there. Tobias 7, chapter, verse 11 to verse 15. And when Tobias went back home, the Spirit told him, Hey, if a man is blind, take the gall, the sap that into the gall, squeeze it in his eyes, and the scale that he has on his eye will remove, and his we recover his sight again. How comes your preacher are not telling you all of this? This is magical spells in your Bible. So you see how much power the fish have? They sap that into the gallbladder. And guess what? There are many spells from that gallbladder. You see my book? Mother left baby with voodoo priest. You need to get this book. You need to have this in your position. Because I did not write it up myself. The Spirit helped me to do that. You need to get this book. So you go to Dubai, I'm going to come to you one by one that you can understand from the Bible, which you call the Holy Bible. My English is not profound, but I know you can understand me. I sure you can. Because you think some God live into this book. See this book? It's called the Holy Bible. You think some God live in it? Or you think some devil live in it? These men that wrote the book, they're from different places. They speak of different things. They will get together on the weekend when the moon changed and they will sit and they will talk. And they were all magical men. <laughs> Woo. I said it was all magical men. Moses. <laughs> the men can turn wood into serpent. Huh. Pharaoh. Many pharaohs. But which one of them?
Nimrod, huh. Cain, as you call him, that's, those names are in English language, you know. Do you know all these names are in English language? Where is the original name for all these people that are in the Bible? Huh. Black people, wake up. To start teaching your children the real thing. Let them know who they are. Huh. Marcos Garvey was the first black man from the Caribbean that realized that black people were from Africa. Did you know the men have two ships? What is the name of the ship? Huh. Look, you don't know. How comes you don't know the name of the ship? You don't know the name of the ship? Let me give you a hint. They call black, black, some like a star or whatever. You don't get it? Oh, you heard about it. Huh. Listen, the man was born in St. Thomas, Jamaica, West Indies. I was a tenant that lived into a house that one of Marcus Garvey follower found as a proprietor, property, whew, my tongue is tying, owner of the property. And he explained many things to me what Marcus Garvey did. See, most of the history that are written by Marcus Garvey are like foreigners, people maybe from England or the United States. When he came here, the government still set plans with the black people here to overthrow and deport him back to Jamaica. Did you know he have two ships and they're still in Jamaica? He was the only black man in the Western world have ship that sailed the ocean? Oh, you didn't know that. How comes you don't know? He is the man that let you know that you're from Africa. It's not no Jesse Jackson, or no Farrakhan, or no Martin Luther King, or no Malcolm X. They didn't know about Africa. Or Elijah Muhammad. He is the only black man in the Western world that let the black people know where they were from. And he was the only one standing up for repatriation. He went to the queen, guest chambers, to get repatriation money to send all the black people back to Africa. A few of them went back. Sierra Leone, some of them are there. There was in the Caribbean. And those people that live there know that. The United States government doesn't want to give repatriation money. So listen, write to me, www.voodoospell.com. Write to me. And don't forget that seeing is believing. And I have what you've been waiting for. I have the answer. The old world I've been waiting for. See my book? Mother Left Baby with Voodoo Priest? Write to me. Because I'm going to open up your mind. Black people, your mind is going to expand. Not from the Bible completely, but from the wisdom. And I will speak about marijuana too. Papayas. The hopium tree. I'm going to speak of everything. And show you how magical powers are in all these herbs. And I hope you understand. And keep on watching. And you will learn abundantly. Be good to yourself. Be good. Be good to your neighbors. As a black man. Take the land back and plant grains. Let your people have food abundantly to eat. Once we have food abundantly, 
we are going to have strength. And no man can overpower strength. Strength is like magnet. Magnet draws steel. No matter where it is. I'm going to speak of all of those things. Magnet, lodestone, everything. So you better keep watching the show. Is you going to miss out? And gather your children around the TV. And stop watching filthy stuff. And watch the real thing.